So we're here at Mobile World Congress and uh, there's a nice and big Ubuntu booth right here. So there's Ubuntu everywhere in the world. That's right, and it's thanks to developers and our community that uh, it does so many interesting things in so many interesting places. So have you reached what you set out to do in the beginning? Uh, well, what we've, what we've reached is much bigger than what we, I think we set out to do in the beginning, right? I really wanted to make sure that there was a great, solid, free software platform that was available to people who wanted one. And uh, it turned out that those people are brilliant geniuses. And so now we've gone all over the cloud. We're in, in, in telco networks, front-end, back-end data centers, edge devices, phones. Uh, I, I'm very, very proud to be part of all of this. And it's hard to know who's using it, right? Because it's like they're not telling you, are That's they? Right. No one has to tell us that, they, that they're using Ubuntu. No one has to tell us how they're using Ubuntu effectively. So we learn about these projects long after the case, which, uh, which I think is great. All I care about is that uh, Ubuntu is of a very high quality, a very high standard, so that everybody can count on having a great experience with it. And so on this side, you have a lot of uh, server stuff, and behind you have IoT stuff. That's and there's right. a lot of stuff happening with IoT. You and you're going to be in the IoT. That's right. So. Um, down here we have essentially we're simulating uh, exchanges or uh, central offices, co-location facilities. Those are the uh, those are the rooms where all of the wires come in to the telco. It's the entry point to the telco network, effectively. And what we're showing is building different kinds of clouds with different software-defined networks, uh, and then deploying different kinds of virtual network functions, which are like telco applications on top of those clouds, which is really cool. Uh, on the on the back wall, we're showing a whole bunch of IoT. Uh, we have Samsung with their Arctic 5 and 10. We have um, a range of devices uh, from Dell. Uh, we have devices uh, from top of rack switches through uh, DSLAMs, DSL aggregation managers, home routers, uh, GSM base stations, software defined radio, GSM base stations, drones, robots, 3D printers, and they're all using snappy Ubuntu Core. Is that relatively new and it just kind of like well, comes out? You know, that works. Snappy has been has started when we started the phone because for the phone we knew we needed to create a new kind of packaging system that was had a much more reliable upgrade and rollback mechanism and it was much easier for developers that simplified all of the packaging. So that work has, has evolved from the click packages that we use in the phone to Snappy, which we first used in 1504, and uh, Snappy 3.0 will be in 1604 LTS. So that's going to be a pretty incredible experience for developers. There's a lot of... Uh excitement for Snappy, no? Yes, Snappy I think is a, is a breath of fresh air for developers because it lets them grab code from GitHub, gra grab code from you know, Ruby Gems, um, uh, Node.js packages, pull all of those together into a nice easy bundle that they can then ship off to the cloud or ship off to a device or ship off to a desktop. So it's very exciting, it's a very clean way to work, it's very empowering for developers and it's a, it's a, it's a great experience for them. So somebody just commented on one of my videos saying that Linus Torvalds said that 2016 we're going to see ARM laptops going gangbusters. Are you going to be part of them? Are you, are, you, are you going to be part of that? Linus is a little behind the times. I like him very much, but he should know that we have tons of, of, of ARM laptops today, right? There are ARM Chromebooks, and we should celebrate yeah. that as a, as, as, as a win for Linux and for free software. You know, regardless of the details of the stack, that is a radically new way of thinking about personal computing. And I think it's a fantastic achievement by the Linux community and by Google. But um, also, the uh, the convergence device here. This is our. This is the middle of our of our range of phone, tablet, and PC. We launched the tablet with BQ. It won Trusted Reviews Best of uh, Best of Show, and it won um, Tom's Hardware Biggest Surprise, which was a huge surprise for us and a, and a fantastic accomplishment for the team. You can actually see an ARM device that's acting as a desktop and acting as a phone, and it's an amazing experience. I love the Chromebooks. Uh, I think it's fantastic. But uh, when I go to uh, like uh, engineering conferences and stuff, everybody's using Intel computers and stuff. So maybe what he meant is like all these engineers should be having ARM laptops this well, year, and well, they should be running Ubuntu, right? Well, maybe, but also maybe engineers will find that they start like using the Samsung Arctic Five or. Um, um, using a, uh, 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 an Intel Sophia or using um, a, a Raspberry Pi and creating things that they never imagined. You know, computing is now much bigger than uh, the PC, right? It's the phone, it's the tablet, it's the PC, it's virtual reality, it's augmented reality, it's every device in your house, and it's the cloud. And all of those are a playground for, for brilliant people. So it's great for me to be part of that. It's great for the free software community to be able to be right at the cutting edge of that. And I'm very proud to be uh, to be 
you know, leading a small bit of all of that. But there's a lot of work that's going on right here. Sure, this is a, luckily we've got a lot of people to make it happen. This is a busy job, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a busy uh, company. That's right. So, uh, but we have a whole bunch of different missions and a bunch of different people focused on those. The uh, the team working on personal computing are super passionate about the phone, tablet, PC convergence story, and they've. I think it's really beautiful. You know, I, I'm I'm delighted that Microsoft, HP, and others have now decided that that convergence thing might have legs. I think it's fantastic that a small British company with people all over the world can be building a free software platform that looks and smells just like the future everybody else has decided they want to create, and we've done that. You know. With a, with a small but passionate community. Um, it I sounds see that a little bit like another company called Arm. It might well have something in common with, uh, with a ragtag bunch of adventurers, yes. Yeah. The diversity of our story, I think, matches that. And, uh, well, what can I say? I'm delighted to be part of that. Uh, so, there was a Ubuntu on Android a couple, three years ago. Uh, what do you think about this idea? You, about an app on Android that launches Ubuntu? Is that, is you know, I think we're entering a new phase of, of, of uh, work with containers and so on. So Linux is getting powerful enough to let us mix and match the best of those worlds. Uh, I certainly think there's lots to celebrate in the Android world, in the Chrome world. You know, I think we shouldn't forget it's a it's a huge um, it's a huge part of, of our experience that, that that Chrome is part of our experience, right? So uh, it, you know, for, for all we for all the fact that we like to draw lines and and, and mark our territory, the fact is everybody's kind of interdependent on everybody else. So we should do a little less kind of bitching and a little more kind of celebrating just how wild the world has gotten and how much of that is built on free software that we all use and contribute to. And I'm, I'm just guessing, I'm sure you can't really say, but I'm, I'm sure you help all these guys make what they did also. In You're kind of like consulting, you're helping all these people, right? Who, when they have issues with Linux, you go and make it work for them, right? A little bit. Well, I, I like the idea that we can kind of help everybody solve problems cheaply, right? It seems silly for everybody to solve the same problem separately. So with, uh, with, with Ubuntu, we're solving a sort of straightforward problem, which is how can you have a high-quality maintained Linux, right? Which is, which is freely available to everybody. With Juju, we're solving a different problem, which is, okay, how can you essentially command and control infrastructure at scale, whether that's across racks of ARM servers, racks of x86 servers, tons of VMs on a public cloud, lots of power servers. How can you command and control that to go really, really fast? So what you're seeing here is telco software at scale being deployed on bare metal, being deployed on, uh, on, on clouds. With Snappy, we're solving a different problem, which is, okay, if we're gonna have all of these billions of Linux devices, and we need to be keeping them secure. You know, last week there was a huge security vulnerability that affects every Linux device out there. How many home routers got updated? Well, Snappy Ubuntu Core solves that problem because we, on that day, can publish the update, and every home user will instantly get it and choose if they want to apply it. And if their vendor signs it, then it will instantly be applied to all of those home routers. Or if their operator pushes it, then it'll all instantly get applied. So we're solving real problems which come from the success of Linux, right? We celebrate the success of Linux, but also know we have to evolve. And with the personal computing, with Unity 8 and the conversion story, we're really trying to put free software right at the front of what personal computing could be, right? And I know there's some people who say, why would you bother with something that's only 1% of the world? But 1% of the world is enough to change the world, right? And so I want to make sure that we have a high secure, all free software platform that can be anything that people need it to be. And uh, so that's why I'm so proud of uh, that team and all the work that they have done. I think you can be proud. You have changed the world, right? You have, uh, you're touching everything. Like yeah. the, the network, the servers, and, and uh, everybody in the world is basically being uh, influenced by what you are doing. We are driving change in the world, but we're also riding change in the world, right? We're riding a wave, which is much bigger than us. And uh, it's nice that we are kind of the, we, 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 we make that wave look orange, but the reality is there's a, there's a, a, a huge ecosystem and a huge community of people that, that uh, are much bigger than we are and don't necessarily, you know, even, even, aren't even necessarily focused on the same goals that we are. And uh, I'm mindful of that. And uh, uh, a positive about the future. The, the future is going to be uh, lots... Just a little bit orange, maybe. <laughs>